What the... Oh, what's going on? What on earth could have happened? Am... am I... dead? Bingo. Bingo. Who, who's there? How does it feel does it to be, be dead? dead? Damn it, who is this? Are you making fun of me? <laughs> Not at all. I beg your pardon if I've offended you. You are strongly fated today. You see, you are destined to die. What? But if you have the will to somehow reverse that fate by yourself, I can lend you some measure of strength. How about it? Will you deal with me? Thanks, but no thanks. Sounds too good to be true. Why? Can't you trust me? Of course not. I get it. You're the big S, the devil. In exchange for your immortal soul and all that, am I right? Your soul? Oh, please. In this day and age? <laughs> if I do have an agenda, it's that you survive. Let me think it over a bit. Of course. Of course. Go ahead. But don't keep me waiting too long. I don't much like to be left hanging. Well, what reason is there to procrastinate? You either just die here and now, or you prevent it. It's that simple. What have you got to lose? All right. I'm sorry I called you the devil. I don't want to die yet. Please, help me. All right, but I want you to be aware of something. You have to understand that the destiny that awaits you is a potent one, which means that just because you've managed to avoid death once doesn't mean you're free of the threat. Unless you tear out its very root, destiny can't be cheated. So, coming back to life isn't the hard part, huh? Man, but that can't be helped. You're right. But that's also where your own strengths come into play. Are you ready? I'm going to give you some of my time-shifting powers. I'm going to give you this digipad. Please, use it well. But it's not as though you can use it anywhere or any time you want. This will respond to phenomena that have some relevance to you as its user. As soon as it begins to respond, it's usable, and you can select the digipad by pushing on the square button. After that, you specify the destination time and enter the X button to be sent to that time, alright? You can't solve the real problem by just using it when you're about to die. It's better to make use of it to remove the underlying cause of your death. Oh, and one more thing. Something else? Yes, and it's very important. If the response begins in the time space you've traveled out to, please come back immediately. Other people and objects can be just left in another time and stay intact. But that isn't true for you as the user. If it starts to respond, you need to come back quickly, or you won't be able to get back at all. Just be careful of that. It looks like time is something even more serious than I know. Good luck. Sir, please wake up. Are you all right? Do you feel sick or something? Sir? 
Oh, sorry. I, I fell asleep. <laughs> Dana. <laughs> Dana, that'll do. Okay. I, uh, I'll, I'll just leave what I owe for the coffee here. Hmm. Two o'clock. I still can't believe what just happened. But since I have this digipad here, I guess it really did happen. May I help you? If you need a city map, please help yourself. told well, I never noticed this place before don't like the way I look or something? Hmm. You want me to come to the square at 2.30? What's going to happen in the square? A performer. 
Well, all right. I don't have anything else to do anyway. I know, I know. Be in the square at 2.30. Now, here's a guy with no worries. There was someone behind me. Oh, but it looks like the crowd scared him off. Oh, and that fortune teller, she told me to come back. I should go look her up again. Did my fate change? Did anything happen? been defying fate, haven't you? I am beginning to see a new thread, but... Ah, oh, you are still in danger. Three o'clock is now the fated hour. What? You mean I still haven't gotten to the root of the problem? If you can return here, even after the appointed hour has passed, then I will tell for you. The next fortune. Burn. <laughs> Gee, I don't 
think anybody can make it out of that mess. Oh dear! This is terrible! <laughs> Grandpa's in there. Please help him. Help, please. <laughs> Sorry, kid. Damn, where's the fire department? Even I can do that. What on earth? There's something in here. There's a letter inside. To Ike, please get something like a thick iron plate. What the? Good time. Hey, stop! Damn it! <sighs> that took care of it. But who was that person responsible for the fire?
so this is what it means to change the past. Sir? Sir? Oh, good. I wasn't sure whether I'd find you. I'm sorry? Oh, oh, didn't I leave enough for the coffee? Oh, no, that was all right. Here, you forgot this. It is yours, right? Huh? It's such a gorgeous stone, like a jewel or something. It gives me a funny feeling to look at it. If you make it into a necklace, I bet it would look great on a lot of girls. Well, uh, this isn't mine. What? But, but, but I checked with the other customers. Hmm. Well, whose is it then? So, you came looking for me just to give me that? Uh, well, my shift's over anyway, and I thought maybe I'd just try looking around, see whether I could give it back. Oh, I almost forgot. What about this? Did I strike out on this one too? <laughs> no, this lighter is mine. Thanks. You're welcome. But I'm always the one running these kinds of errands. I feel so tired. You can't be tired from something that simple. There's a lot of people out there whose lives are a lot tougher. Well, like me. <laughs> You're an interesting guy. My name's Ike. Hey, how about it? Should I make you a necklace with this red stone? I may not look it, but I'm pretty good with my hands. Really? Tomorrow. I'll make it for you tomorrow. Should I meet you at the coffee shop? Uh, uh huh. I'm there all day tomorrow. Great. I'll see you then, tomorrow. It looks like there's someone hiding behind a tree, and that someone is out to get you. Now, how do you suppose you can prevent that? Listen, will you tell my fortune again? Certainly. Well? The fated hour is 3.30. I see. Listen carefully. What I tell you is nothing more than one possible future. The shape of your destiny can change, depending on what actions you take. If you can return here, even after the appointed hour has passed, then I will tell for you the next fortune. Okay. Sir? Oh, good. I was
wasn't sure whether I'd find you. I'm sorry? Oh, oh, didn't I leave enough for the coffee? Oh, no, that was all right. Here, you forgot this. It is yours, right? Huh? It's such a gorgeous stone, like a jewel or something. It gives me a funny feeling to look at it. If you make it into a necklace, I bet it will look great on a lot of girls. Well, uh, this isn't mine. What? But, but, but I checked with the other customers. Hmm. Well, whose is it then? So, you came looking for me just to give me that? Um, uh, well, my shift's over anyway, and I thought maybe I'd just try looking around, see whether I could give it back. Oh, I almost forgot. What about this? Did I strike out on this one, too? <laughs> no, this lighter is mine. Thanks. You're welcome. But I'm always the one running these kinds of errands. I feel so tired. You can't be tired from something that simple. There's a lot of people out there whose lives are a lot tougher. <laughs> like me. <laughs> You're an interesting guy. My name's Ike. Hey, how about it? Should I make you a necklace with this red stone? I may not look it, but I'm pretty good with my hands. Really? Tomorrow. I'll make it for you tomorrow. Should I meet you at the coffee shop? Uh, uh huh. I'm there all day tomorrow. Great. I'll see you then, tomorrow. You have a nerve, my girl. Really? What with that one being punished yesterday, too? What is it that you don't understand? What's so difficult about being more quiet-like? Dressing above one's station is an offense, you know. Do you want to be punished? Like that woman? What's wrong with wearing what one likes? And this dress is one of my quieter ones. Really good ladies. You'd like to wear this kind of a dress yourself, wouldn't you? Well, I never! A little neighborly advice and she sasses me. All right, we'll have the law down here. That's right, you tell her. Oh, that's not very pleasant, is it? Come on, let's just let this pass, all right? Well then, in exchange for us not telling the law, you'll make us dresses for free. Right, that is. You're a seamstress, you are. That's right, you tell her. You'll make me one, too. Oh, dear. I don't see how I could do a thing like that. We're doing this just to be obliging. Whoa! Whoa. What are you? Who are you? What's this? It's dark already. Get yourselves home, everyone. Fetch up! Oh, sir! This man just suddenly... I see now. It was you. This little girl called for help. Wicked little sly boot. Oh, the hussy. Sir, you must arrest her at once. What? Why should you think a thing like that? What's this now? What are you doing here? Lord 
Almighty. <laughs> Fire from his hand! Listen carefully. Stop bothering this woman and go home. If you do as I say, no harm will come to you. This time... S sir? Th Mr. Watchman, sir? Th this... Wh and you will keep what happened here a secret. Understand? Yes. Everyone, give your word. I promise. Forgive us, please. Please. Mm. Uh, will that be uh, all? If it is, uh, you could perhaps go away now. And everyone, go home too. Godspeed. <laughs> You've saved me. But who are you? No, nobody you need to be afraid of. But enough about that. Did you see a girl? She's about your age. What? Oh, no. Oh, that's not good. Look, why don't you stop by my house? It's right over there. We can't stay out here, and you can tell me everything inside. Let me introduce myself. I'm Margaret. I'm Ike. Ike Cush. Well, Ike, shall we? Mother, I'm home. How are you feeling? I am all right today. There hasn't been a great deal of pain. Is someone with you? A guest? Wow! Would you look at those strange clothes? We met in the square. He's looking for someone. Isn't that right? Yeah, something like that. My, your friend's voice is remarkably like your father's. Hmm. Do you think so? Where is Father, anyway? Closed up down there again. He won't come up, even with Mother like this. It's all right, Hugo. I love your father better for doing what he believes in. Is that how it is? Hugo, you'll carry on after your father someday, won't you? I... I, I don't know yet. Well, maybe I'll just go take a peek. I wonder if Father had his dinner yet. Hey, please be careful with that. What is that? Uh, it's a machine, a really complicated one. It's, uh, well, I, I don't know how to explain it to you. Let me guess. It... It... Makes whatever dish you want appear? <laughs> no. Okay, that was just wishful thinking. Well, then... It maps the heavens? No, it doesn't do that. All right, then. It... I know, it lets you travel through time. Uh, and you've come from the future, am I right? Well, actually, uh... What? I'm right? How could that be? Uh, how is that possible? And is that why you've got such funny clothes on? Well... Uh... You... <laughs> Mother, are you alright? Hugo... <laughs> Hugo, you ought not bother our guests so. 
I am sorry. He's very curious about everything, just like his father. I suppose he'll become a scientist as well once he grows to be a man. I'm not interested in alchemy, at least not right now. How can I be when it can't even produce a medicine to make Mother well again? Perhaps not yet, but with time and effort, one never knows. I'm sure that's what your father believes, dear. So, your father's an alchemist, huh? Well, something like that. He makes medicine for people, and does stuff like mixing and grinding strange stones and metals. He's always doing that sort of thing. And I mean always, all the time! Hugo, dear. <laughs> Father's completely wrapped up in his experiments. I couldn't even get him to look my way. So what else is new? He's always staring at the kiln. He hasn't even noticed that I was born. Hugo, don't talk that way. You were looking for someone, weren't you? Tell me, what does she look like? Is this girl like your, you know? <laughs> no, it, it's, it's not anything like that. I actually don't remember too well because I just met her, but she was blonde and had her hair tied back kind of high. And I think she was wearing something reddish. Reddish, huh? Can't say I remember anyone like that. I guess I'll go look around. Thank you for everything. Oh, you're leaving already? It's dark outside, so be careful. Let me know if you find her. I'll keep an eye out. Tough luck, sis. Guess you're just not his type. Oh, what are you talking about? Well, goodbye. <laughs> Thanks for your help. Oh, no. I'm sorry I couldn't help much. See you soon, all right? Haven't seen you around before. A woman? Don't know anything about that. If I don't get this seedling planted by the end of the day, the foreman will have a what for. The squire's manor is beyond that gate. The squire's crest? Come to think of it, the seal on the manor house is about to fall off. Everyone is saying how it ought to be repaired. You want to take a look inside? Well, I've got the key. Of course, I can't let you in for nothing. 
What have you got to trade? Well, all right. Come on inside. What do you think you're doing? Only the squire's got the right to come and interrupt my work. By the blessed Mary, this is the squire's. What's this now? Yes, I have a message for you. The squire doesn't want a tree here. What? Well, now. All right, then. If the squire says so, that's that. Guess I'll call it a day. <laughs> So Dana is somewhere back there in the past. Oh, what have I done to get her involved in this? I promise I'll find you. Please hang in there. Until then. Today is a good day to quit. I don't want to die. Excuse me. Excuse me. What do you think you're doing? Do something useful. You know, like gathering information. I'd deeply appreciate it if you wouldn't disappoint me. Mr. Eckert. Weren't you supposed to come around to my museum today? If you're not, I was thinking about closing up here. I'm sorry about that. I'm going to head out there right now. 
That's right. I was supposed to stop by the museum. I better get going. Listen, will you tell my fortune again? Certainly. Well? The fated hour is 5.50. I see. Listen carefully. What I tell you is nothing more than one possible future. The shape of your destiny can change, depending on what actions you take. If you can return here, even after the appointed hour has passed, then I will tell for you the next fortune. Okay. Come in. I'm sorry I'm so late. Well, that's okay. Here, take a seat somewhere. So, what can I do for you today? Did you come to see my paintings again? No. Well, I mean, that's what I was going to do, of course, but... Hey, Mr. Eckert, do you know anything about alchemy? Why the sudden interest? Uh, research of some kind? Well, not exactly. Hmm, well, let me see. I'm not really well up on it, but... There was someone notable in this city, a man named Dr. Wagner. He was supposed to have been a magician or a scientist or something. I don't know anything much more than that, though. I see. Do you have any documents and things from that time? I think... Wait a second. Hmm, was this the one? Phew, here. Here, I'll lend this to you. The Magician of Our City. It's a fairly old book, maybe the oldest one here. 
I think it includes things like stories about real alchemists that worked in this city, recipes for the elixir of youth, even copies of documents from the era. Of course, you need to take it with a pinch of salt, maybe a fistful. If there really was an elixir, I'd want it myself. I'll let you know when I need that book back. Uh, by the way, do you like cats? Uh, mine had a litter the other day, as you can see. Thanks, but no thanks. Okay, but if you have a friend or anyone who wants a kitten, let me know. Are you going straight home today? No, I was going to walk around the city some more before going home. Was? No, it's nothing. Just some personal stuff. Well, anyway, I have some more work to do, so I'll keep the place open until I'm done. Feel free to look around. It's better for the paintings to be looked at by someone who really appreciates them. Thank you, I will. Who's there? <laughs> You're... I I've heard that voice before. Of course you have. Do you remember me now? I was the one who saved you. You should be a little more appreciative. What's going on around here? Who are you? That's not very nice. Can't you be a little more polite? I am homunculus. Not that there's much in a name. I've been waiting a long time to see you again. I've looked for you everywhere. By the way, are you using the digipad? Have you come here to kill me? Hmm? I think you misunderstand. I'm only trying to help you. Certainly not murder you. It's just that I don't know how to give you any direct help. And that's the truth. I think I'm going out of my mind. I can't seem to convince you, can I? This is really very difficult. In some small measure. What the? Seeing things? Did that man? <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> oh gosh, didn't realize anyone was out here. Sorry about yelling and everything. It's okay. Don't worry about it. You see, my wife finally had our baby, so you can imagine. I... And it's a girl, too. The hospital just called me. Wow, congratulations. Do you work at this museum? No, I'm, I'm sorry, my name is Eckert. I've just taken over from my father as the director of this museum. What? You're Mr. Eckert? Yes, is there, is there anything I can do for you? No, nothing. 
Wait, what am I doing? <laughs> I have to think about what we're gonna call her. Hey, great to meet you. <laughs> Bye. The digipad. It doesn't work. Well, how about that? Just a small example of what I can do. How will you get home now? You better solve that on your own. You should be able to handle a little thing like that, I. Right? What am I... what am I supposed to do? There used to be something in here. Now if I get some... Now I can get back. What do you think? Are you a little more convinced? Dear, dear. Come in. Is that you, Ike? Can I ask you something? Yes. Mr. Eckert, do you have a daughter? It's all right. I'll take care of it later. I'm sorry. I didn't think I ever mentioned my daughter to you. Well, no. I do have a daughter, or rather I did. She was taken by some madman right after she was born. My wife was killed in the same attack. Does that answer your question? I'm sorry. I, I had no idea. It's okay. Don't worry about it. I'm so sorry. God damn it. Any luck? Well, okay, I'll believe you for now. And I'm grateful that you gave me another chance at life. Now we're talking. Well, I'm really counting on you. If you die, I'll be in trouble too, you know. I don't really get it. But are you sure about this? I mean, I can't do anything except for myself. 
But that's all right. It's the way things should be. As you can see, my body is very fragile and won't let me do much. I picked up a baby the other day and it was really quite terrible, absolutely exhausted me. I won't ever do that again. So because of all that, I can only provide you with some backup aid. Oh, I almost forgot. You will see that red stone again sometime. When you do, could you acquire it somehow? I would like you to give it to someone called Dr. Wagner. That's all for now. I'll be seeing you. What on earth is going on around here? Are you all right? Isn't there any way you can avoid being stabbed to death? What about putting something like an iron plate under your clothing? And if you make good use of that, perhaps... <laughs> Please, make a good job of it. Welcome. Listen, will you tell my fortune again? Certainly. Well? The fated hour is eight o'clock. I see. Listen carefully. What I tell you is nothing more than one possible future. The shape of your destiny can change, depending on what actions you take. If you can return here, even after the appointed hour has passed, then I will tell for you the next fortune. Okay.
Oh, yes? Do you work at this museum? Museum? What? Uh, this building is a... This? This is my home. We've been here for generations. As the descendants of the regional squire. Now... First it was my parents, now my wife. All in such short time. That leaves just myself and the two children in this castle of a house. You're right, it's too large for just the three of us. Perhaps it ought to be a museum, just as you say. I'm sorry. No, no, I, I didn't mean that as sarcasm. Don't, don't be offended. Actually, I'm grateful for the advice. To tell you the truth, I'd been thinking that I should just get rid of this house. Too many memories of my wife to bring me sorrow. But a museum, that's something I haven't thought of. Maybe a good thing, a museum. Perhaps this is meant to be. There are enough pictures in that collection of my forebears. It seems he had an artist he favored. You mean Carl Franson? How did you know that? Are you checking into this house? I don't remember telling anyone that it was for sale yet. No, please don't misunderstand. It's just that I happen to like his paintings. And it's not like, you know... Well, all right then, I've made up my mind anyway. I'll... Turn a part of this building into a private museum and open the collection of paintings to the public. That way I can take care of the children while I work. Besides, I know that there's at least one admirer of Carl Franson's work. All right, that's what I'll do. I owe you many thanks. By the way, allow me to introduce myself, if somewhat belatedly. My name is Alfred Brum. Nice to meet you. I'm Ike Cush. I'm grateful to you, Ike. Come inside. We'll have tea or something. Okay. He's just gone to sleep, finally. All right, then. Come out by yourself, Sybil. Will you make tea for our guest? If I must. Here you go. Ah, oh, thank you for the tea, dear. Oh, yes, I should tell my sweet Sybil, huh? I've decided to turn this house into a museum. What do you think? Whatever you decide is always good enough for me. Thank you. I was a little afraid that you'd object. Oh, it's much, much better than selling this house. <laughs> I see. I'm sorry I made you worry that much. I know. Let's have a photograph taken. If we're going to start a museum, we'll need to renovate. We'll all get a picture taken with the house before then. Please join us, Ike. There's no time like the present. I'm going to fetch the photographer this instant. Mr. Franson? This early in the morning? Franson? Oh, yes, he's descended from the painter Carl Franson. Maybe that's why he's a photographer. He's a good friend of mine. I can count on him to come if I need him. Just wait a little while. Sibylla, you hold the fort and watch the baby, please. Of course. Did you persuade Father not to sell the house? No, I didn't do anything like that. This is something your father decided on his own. 
Oh, I see. But I'm awfully glad that the house won't be sold. Oh, it's coming undone here. Give it to me. I'll mend it for you. What? Oh, oh that's okay. Don't worry. I may look little, but I can do anything. Everything besides cooking, that is. That's for Father to wear in the festival soon. I sewed that too, so don't be shy. <laughs> Are you cold? If you are, just put that costume over you. I'll be done soon. They're almost done. <laughs> you do look funny. You. Let's have the picture taken like that. Isn't there an iron plate? An iron plate? What do you want something like that for? Well, I just kind of need one. There's nothing like that here. What is it for? Do you need to grill something? No, nothing like that. Hey, wait a second. What is it? A frying pan. Do you have a frying pan? Oh, you must have one. No. When Mother died, Father had all her things taken away. So we only eat what the housekeeper brings nowadays. No one will let me cook yet, you see. Oh. But cafes and restaurants must have lots of frying pans. You're right. Good thinking, Sibylla. You're welcome. But it's too early for any of the shops to be open. Oh, yeah, come to think of it, there was a bunch of frying pans in the bar where that fire was during the day. What is it? I'm sorry, but I have something I need to do, so see you soon. Wow.
Whew. I guess I managed to escape thanks to this thing. Past 8.30 already. I could use a little food. to go somewhere. No, it's all right now. Sorry about that. Oh, I know. Will you put that costume back on and be in the picture? Please, please. All right. Hold still, please. Thank you very much. I'm sorry I dragged you out of bed. Thank you to you, too. You can change back now. That's right. I should get changed. Oh? 
you changed already? What? Uh, oh, not yet. You carry frying pans around with you? Oh, that. It's a long story. I'm sorry, but I have something I need to do, so see you soon. Come again soon. You can use that key as much as you want. What? I saw you. What are you talking about? What's the matter? You have to go somewhere, right? You shouldn't be late. Oh, that's right. Okay, see you. I'm still not sure, you see. Uh, you don't want to turn it into a museum? Well, I thought about that, but I've got a lot of books, too. Uh, a library wouldn't be a bad idea either, don't you agree? Okay, you've helped me make up my mind. A library it is. What is it? Oh, no, nothing. Just came to talk, that's all. Oh, you can go anywhere you like. That's nice. I always have to mind the baby, so I can't go outside to play. Besides, Father will be busy changing the house around from now on. Is it pretty boring for you here, Sibylla? Yes, just a little. Oh, don't tell Father. He'll worry, you see. It's okay, I won't tell. Hey, Sybilla, do you like cats? Kittens? Yeah, I love kittens. Oh, are you gonna get me one? I know someone who might be able to help. I'll ask him if you like. Really? A kitty? Okay, I'll bring you one soon. Is anything wrong? What do you think of this? Huh? This. What do you think of this? 
The movie this poster's for. It's pretty popular, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I guess so. What's the secret for a hit film, anyway? I don't have a clue. Maybe it's the method thing. The filmmakers or the director's life experience. Oh, I should have tried more things when I was young. I'll be 50 soon, and then it's all over. Life is short. You there, make sure you leave with no regrets, all right? Live each day as though it's your first and last. Uh, okay. Come to think of it, she said her father did research. He may be this Dr. Wagner. They may have some sort of a link to me. No, no, it's too dangerous. Don't get too near that house. There was an explosion just now. What with him dabbling in all that science? It's no wonder. God sent his judgment down. <laughs> uh, is, the, is this uh, Dr. Wagner's house? Oh, so you knew him, did you? Well, anyway, you'd best not stick your nose in, or you'll be cursed too. See if you don't. So, this was Dr. Wagner's place. Looking for meat? Hey, you're kind of cute. I'll tell you what, you can have the scrap meat over there for free.
you? Why are you here? Who are you? Is that you, Hugo? No, I'm... Whoever you are, I want you out. How did you get in here? Look, excuse me, but are you Dr. Wagner? Yes, that is correct. Wow, say, is that for your research into the homunculus? Someone has been telling you things you ought not to know, said Hugo. Ah, but of course, I don't think I've told him yet. No, it, it wasn't. Call, well, call it a hunch. A hunch? Well, if you say so. Excuse me, but I must ask you to leave now. And if you can, forget about what you saw in this room, please. Are you by any chance looking for the Philosopher's Stone? What did you say? You mean that you have it? Well, no, I, I don't know if it's the one, but I have seen a stone, a, a red stone. Ah, should you gain possession of it, allow me a small amount. I beg of you, please. Sorry if I startled you. Aren't you the one from... Uh, I think you were looking for someone, weren't you? Quite a while ago. It's been some time. Did you find whoever it was? No, not yet. You're still looking? I'm impressed. Hasn't it been at least two years? Well, I tried finding her too. Afterwards. But I didn't have any luck. I'm sorry. But a lot happened to us right after you came. Mother passed away, you know. Oh, yes. Hugo's still at school. He started this year, and he's gotten serious about learning. I think he's decided to follow in our father's footsteps. But I shouldn't just make you listen to me talking. I'm sorry. So, what brings you here today? Is there something around here called a, a sea hare antidote? What? What's the matter? Why do you need something like that? Uh, well... It's here on the shelf. Help yourself. I won't tell Father. Thank you. You're welcome. Is she my ancestress? 
Wh what Do I have something on my face? Oh, sorry. I, I was just... I mean, I, I, di I didn't mean to... I guess I'll be going now. Huh? You're going already? Why don't you just stay a while? You can tell me about the future and things. Please. So everyone thinks I'm from the future after all. Well, Hugo's the only one who says so, and nobody else believes him. Except me, that is. It's more interesting that way, don't you think? So, tell me, what is it like in your time? Hmm. Uh, okay, then. Good. Oh, I have some things to deliver, so I'll walk with you. There's someone, a friend of mine, called Mr. Eckert. In my time, he's a director of an art museum. Yes, and? Well, I met Mr. Eckert's great-grandfather about a hundred years in the past, and you won't believe how alike they look. The face and hair. Well, they're both pretty young, but the hair. <laughs> you mean a little thin, maybe like the squires? And I mean in the same way. You know, on the top. <laughs> I guess that sort of thing is in the blood. <laughs> yeah, come to think of it, they both had a daughter. Oh. What is it? Well, Mr. Eckert said his daughter. She's gone. You mean something happened to her? Yeah, a, a crime of some sort. But like 20 years ago. And the funny thing is, it seems like he's still waiting for her to come back. I see. I guess that happens. It's like Hugo not being able to forget Mother. Family ties are strong, aren't they? Say, it's gotten dark already. Sorry if I've kept you. Well, not at all. I enjoyed the conversation. Oh, here we are. Will you wait a second? Dana? What's the matter? It's just that she looked like her. That girl you've been looking for? Yes, but I lost sight of her. Maybe it wasn't even her. Well, I need to go home now. Is that all right? Of course. Uh, sorry about that. It's okay. But you really are from a different world altogether, aren't you? I... well... Uh... Don't worry. I won't tell anyone about the things you've told me. Not that anyone would believe me, anyway. Thank you. It would be better if you could. I don't think I should be leaving anything behind in this age. Not just actual things, but talking about stuff, too, like I just did. Huh? What do you mean? Well, like, suppose I were to kill someone in this age. That's a terrible thing to say. Oh, bad example? Well, anyway, if that person were supposed to live till a hundred and have lots of kids and grandkids, but if I interfere with his life at this point, those kids and grandkids will never be born, and all their descendants in my time will just disappear. Do you get that? Yes, I think so. 
So the more I interfere with the past, the more the future will change. It may not be as serious as that example I just used, but anything I do here could affect the future. I don't quite understand yet, but I'll sleep on it. Your age is very interesting to me. I wish I could see it. It's nothing exciting. Kind of boring, really. But I still want to see what it's like. I don't know why, but I feel such a strong pull towards it. Won't you take me to your time? No, I, I can't do that. It's not possible. The future will change. After all, you're my... Huh? You're what? Wait a sec, did I just say something really important? What? I couldn't hear you. It's not as though I've looked up whether I'm descended from you or not. But you should forget about me and live a regular life here in this world. Oh, I see. An ancestress, huh? That's how you see me. I thought... Well, never mind. It doesn't matter. I didn't mean... I'm sorry if I've been a bother. I was out of line. Margaret. I, I was born here. And someday I shall marry someone and have children grow old and die. And it's all been decided already, hasn't it? And then my child will have a child, then that child too, and all the way at the end of that repetition is you. That's what you mean. And if I were to break away from my time right now, you would never be born. Something like that, maybe. I can't be sure. I don't have any memory of my parents, so... I understand. Don't worry about me. I'm all right. You'll come over again, won't you? To tell me all these wondrous things? That's allowed, isn't it? I will. So see you again soon. Oh, Hugo. Did you just get back? No, I heard everything. I didn't mean to be a snoop, but it didn't seem like I could just walk in. It's okay. I won't tell anyone. Oh, for heaven's sake. You could have just come in. I was just trying to be tactful, after all, sis. That's quite all right. Oh, um, Hugo... What? Are you still, you know, mother's lock of hair? What? I know how much you miss mother, but you can't carry that thing around forever. Sh shut up! What do you mean, that thing? How could you say something like that? It's not as though I'm doing anything wrong. I'm sorry, that didn't come out quite right. But... You're the one who's being weird, changing the subject as soon as it gets a little thorny. Hugo... It's your fault. You ought to know that. Hugo! Father can't be disturbed. I know. Ahem. <clears throat> uh... I, uh, I, I should get going. Yes, uh, see you soon. I'm sorry it was so hectic around here. He's always like this. I just can't do a thing with him once he gets upset. So I just leave him alone when he's this way. Hey, sis. Are you sure you just want to let him go like this? Oh, stop that, Hugo.
Well, uh, here. Will you take it? Consider it a token of appreciation for all the stories you told me. I've had that ever since I was little. It's strange. When I touch it, I sometimes see a picture of this man in my head. He's not anyone I've met. He's much, much older, like my father's age. I have this sensation like he's patting me on the head. But it doesn't feel weird at all. Maybe I shouldn't have told you that. You must think I'm strange now. No, of course not. I've never told anyone about this. Well, anyway, take it. Are you sure? Yes, something to remember today by. Good job, sis. Hugo, stop eavesdropping. Thank you, Margaret. See you. Okay. It's a poster for that new movie. What's it about? I never get this guy's movies. Who watches this kind of stuff anyway? The Meditating Man. Okay, this sounds pretty dull. for that new movie. What's it about? I never get this guy's movies. Who watches this kind of stuff anyway? The Meditating Man. Okay, this sounds pretty dull.
failed again. It's happened! Whoops. You've come! Huh? You've answered my call, didn't you? No, no, of course not. What are you talking about? No, 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 wait! Uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Oleg, and I am a filmmaker. Just a novice at this point, but anyway, ever since I saw you a year ago, I've been meditating every chance I can get, channeling all my energy towards seeing you again. And finally, you answered. To think I had such power. I will never forget this moment. Maybe I should base a movie on this. Uh... But what kind of film should it be? A bold and moving drama about a man with miraculous powers? Or a science fiction blockbuster featuring a psychokinetic hero? Um... Hmm, I see that you're the type of man who prefers not to betray his excitement. But let me ask you something. If you were making a film, what kind of movie would it be? Ha! Huh. That's a pretty good angle. Uh, but what about the motivation for his temporal wanderings? Cause of death, huh? It needs something else. Any ideas? Oh, wow. I'm impressed. You really got me. Look, please, don't tell anyone about this project. Once I'm a little higher on the food chain, I can film this. But it needs something more. Uh, a soul, if you will. Well, that'll come later. Watch for it in the theaters, though, all right? Okay. You're not happy? I am. Really, I am. Very sincerely. I don't want to call this a token of that feeling. But here, please accept this as a gift. In the name of this encounter. Uh, you sure? It looks like an antique. Oh, that's all right. It looks old, but it's just a replica. My family has the arts and crafts gene, so to speak. We like to make things. And this is the kind of thing my father likes to make. So there are old-fashioned cameras and pocket watches all over his house. And what I like to do is give them to friends. Oh, uh, thank you. No, thank you. I consider you one of my greatest benefactors, you know. Just talking to you like this gives me something immeasurably valuable. Really? It does? Yes, it does. Absolutely. By the way, how does one acquire the power to do what you do? Please, please, share some of your powers with me. You can't ask me to do that. I, I mean, I can't. Try to forget about all of this, please. Goodbye. No, wait! You can't just go! Gunshots?
Lady, are you okay? Where? My baby. She. Baby? Lady, hold on. What's going on? Someone hurt? I, I don't know. Call an ambulance. You got it. What's going on here? A mugging? Isn't this Mr. Eckert's? Miriam! Miriam, stay with me! Hold on! Oh, God, where's Dana? Wasn't she with you? Did anyone see a baby? Did you see her? No. Did you? I I don't know. Did anyone see who did this? God, no, this is not happening. It's a poster for that new movie. What's it about? A man with the power to defy time itself uncovers the truth behind a grisly serial murder. Hey, that sounds pretty cool. I like that kind of stuff. Hey, what's cool? Oh, this director. I am such a great fan of his. Oh my god, you too? That is so totally amazing. All right, I've got a good feeling about this one, too. Another major hit, no doubt about that, really. <laughs> hey, watch what you're doing. Hello? Hi there. I'm sorry, but something's come up and I need that book back. If you could bring it over, I'll be waiting at the library tower. Damn. I'm locked in. Mr. Eckert, are you there? <laughs> oh dear, but this may be the chance we've been looking for. This attack takes place indoors, which means that the killer is in there with you. 
If you can somehow fool the killer, you may be able to catch him. Can't you do something to make sure you don't fall off without alerting the killer to that fact? You've got a bit of time. Good luck. It's locked. I don't really want to think about it, but can the person who's trying to kill me be... Mr. Eckert? Is it? Is that possible? And, and why would he... Isn't there any way to get in without Mr. Eckert knowing? This is an old lock. Maybe I can get a hold of the key. Uh-oh. I'm going to run into myself. The tower key. Here's a duplicate. It should be okay for me to take one. myself.
since I'm going to be shoved off here, I can tie one end of a rope to this railing and grab the other end tomorrow before I get pushed off. That way, I shouldn't fall. I hope it works. You're sure about that? She's alive. All right. Yes, he did say he was coming over tomorrow to look at paintings, for sure. Yes, yes, I know. I won't tell anyone. Who's he talking to? Did your rope break? What did you expect from an old rope? Did you actually think a rotted rope could hold your weight? <laughs> Silly.
Isn't there any way to get in without Mr. Eckert knowing? This is an old lock. Maybe I can get a hold of the key. Uh-oh. I'm going to run into myself. The tower key. Here's a duplicate. It should be okay for me to take one. myself. I think I'll come back later. I might as well turn back. There's nothing this way.
since I'm going to be shoved off here, I can tie one end of a rope to this railing and grab the other end tomorrow before I get pushed off. That way, I shouldn't fall. I hope it works. You're sure about that? She's alive. All right. Yes, he did say he was coming over tomorrow to look at paintings, for sure. Yes, yes, I know. I won't tell anyone. Who's he talking to? Is it over? It's got to be cleaned up. Hi. Mr. Eckert, you... Is this yours? Mr. Eckert... I asked you whether this was yours. Yes. Someone gave it to me. But we need to... I see. Mr. Eckert, there's something I need to ask you. <sighs> I'm sorry. Truly, truly sorry. Blackmail. Our daughter went missing 20 years ago. It, it was Dana's return for your... So, were you the one that stabbed me, too? No, I, I don't know anything about that. You may not believe me, but that's the truth. What? So there's someone else trying to kill me, too? Then who were you talking to on the phone? I honestly don't know. He, he said he'd call again once you were dead. Don't worry. After all, I, I told you all this, didn't I? I won't make any more attempts on your life, and I plan to give myself up to the police. Forgiveness I can't ask for, but I am sorry. No, that's all right. I'm still alive, and... Besides, it's the fault of whoever is really behind this. Please, don't blame yourself too much, Mr. Eckert. The comb, it somehow made me a sane man again. When I look at it, I, I feel like she's safe. When I hold it in my hand, I, I can believe that the blackmail was nothing but a piece of fiction and that my daughter is out there somewhere, happy and safe. It's as though I'm stroking her little head again, reassuring. I don't know quite how to express it. I must be getting old. No, I think I understand. That comb, I'd like you to have it. 
Are you sure? Isn't it a keepsake? You should have it. I've got to get going. Already? I have to find out who's doing this. Yes, uh, if there's anything I can do to help, uh, let me know. I'll do everything in my power. I don't remember seeing this picture before. The stone and the girl. Dana? Oh, yeah. I should ask about that picture. Dana? You're from that... Ike? I was worried about where you were. Yes, I was pretty shook up too, when I got separated from you. I'm glad you're okay. I'm really sorry you got mixed up in all this. I was scared to death though. It was pitch dark too but it only took me a bit to figure out that it was the same place, and I started thinking that maybe it was just a different time. The buildings and the streets are almost exactly the same, so... Wow, you thought of all that and didn't freak out? Well, I would have for sure. Well, it took a while to get used to. Things only fell into place lately. I looked for you for a long time, you know. I'm sorry. I looked for you, too, but I didn't have any luck. 
Well, no use worrying about what's done. It's been four years after all. Huh? Oh yeah, I, I guess it would be. You do look more, well, I don't know, mature, come to think of it. What do you mean? Oh, nothing, really. A night watchman helped me that first day. And since then, I've done a lot of different things. I even worked in a mill for a while. But now, I'm a chambermaid at the Squire's Manor House. I feel so content these days. I, I feel like I should be thanking you. Why are you modeling for a picture? The Squire's a patron of this painter, and that's how I met him originally. He said he really wanted to use me as a model, and I just couldn't say no. I see. The Squire's daughter was supposed to model, really, but she didn't want to do it, so I ended up taking her place. So the girl in the picture is you. Oh, I don't even start posing till tomorrow. I just came over today to work out the schedule and all that stuff. But the picture will eventually be painted. Hey, why did you come here today? Are you here to take me back? You know how to, don't you? Sure. Do you want to? Go back to our own time with me? I did, you know. Of course I wanted to, but not anymore. Not... It's okay. I have no one there. No parents, no family. So I'll be okay here. No one will worry about me. No one expected anything of me back there. No one was watching, no matter how hard I worked. So, there really is nothing for me there. Dana. Don't worry about me, Ike. I'm grateful to you, you know, this world, this age. I feel like I've come home after a really long trip. That's how right it feels, and I mean that. So please, don't look for me anymore. This is where I'm going to spend my life. I've already made up my mind. Dana. Oh, remember this? It's the red stone from that day. That stone's a, a look. Do you mind if I ask you to give that to me? Of course, you can have it. If it weren't for this stone, I would have never met you. Neville would have ended up right here now, talking to you like this. I've always thought that there was something very important about this stone. But that's okay. That's the reason I thought about having it included in my portrait. After all, I got to see you again. Here you go. Thanks, Dana. What are you gonna do now? I... I, uh... There's someone you know that I work with? At the manor house where I'm being looked after? He and I, well... We're going to start a life together someday, so... So I'm going to be staying. I'm really sorry, Ike. Won't you regret it? No, I won't. It's all right. Okay. You take care, then. Thanks. You too, Ike. show up unannounced, don't you? 
Father's down in the basement working. You did come to see him, not Margaret, didn't you? Oh, stop it. Yes? You... you have, by chance, the Philosopher's Stone? Yes. Is this it? That's the only stone I know that fits the bill. Ah, in the name of heaven. I shall start the preparations for the experiment right now. It's all right. It doesn't matter if this is not the true stone. I'm grateful for your help regardless. But if it is the stone, the results should be wondrous. Please come back again in, let's see, five... No, make it ten days. Ten days? Okay. That would be the 13th. Oh! What is it? That experiment's dangerous. That may be, but this is something I want to do. Something I must do. Please, try to understand. Ten days from now, by then, the experiment should yield fruit. I will be able to show you the homunculus. At last, science will prove itself capable of creating life. How I wish she could have been here, Helena. That is my only regret. See you in ten days, then. Oh, one more thing. Could you keep this a secret from Hugo and Margaret? And knowing Hugo, if he learns of this, he might do something like attempt to bring Elena back from the dead. He can't seem to face his mother's death. Should this experiment succeed, if I manage to find what answers I can in my quest for truth, shall commit all records of my research to the fire. Now, take care. Hey, did you manage to see Father? Uh-huh. What is it? Damn, what's the matter with Father anyway? He hasn't let me into his laboratory lately. When I went in there the other day, he got really angry with me. And ever since, there's some secret in there he can't tell me about. I just know it. Hey, are you like Father's right-hand man? You know, with tools from the future and stuff? Of course not. Nothing like that. Really? I'd definitely ask for your help if I were father. Then I could make a machine to move through time, like the one you showed me before. I sort of understand how it works anyway. Wow, really? Well, I'm impressed. Well, I said sort of. Anyway, I'm more interested in what father's working on right now. Hugo, I'm sure Father will tell us one of these days. I don't know about that. Children, I have something to tell you. Father? I'm going to start another experiment, but this one will be very dangerous. So I want you two to leave the house for a while. Right away? The sooner the better. I'll send word in about ten days. Go to our relatives' homes or anywhere else you like. That's all. Can I help with the experiment? No. Both of you have to leave this house.
Oh, for Pete's sake. What does he think he's doing, huh? Come on. Where should we go? Sis? So, you're just going to do it? Do we have a choice? But... but... It's only for a little while. Let's go. We have to get ready. I guess I'll be going now. Of course. I am sorry we're always in the middle of something. See you soon, okay? Is anybody here? Anybody? Dr. Wagner, Margaret, Hugo. Anyone there? Hugo. The basement? This meter here, is this a time machine? Can't be. But that sounded like Margaret's voice just now. This... Hugo? Uh-huh. I really like these machines of the future. Being able to just project your voice a long distance, that's really something. How do you know my number? Oh, that. I asked someone called Eckert. You know, you mentioned him once. How did you get here, and why? Were you the one threatening Mr. Eckert? Threaten sounds so serious. All I did was propose a deal. Can I help it if he jumped at the chance when I told him what he wanted to hear about his daughter? Oh, and about how I got here. It's pretty simple, really. Remember that tool you showed me? I just made one of my own, you see? What? Well, actually, I didn't make it. Not exactly. The Hugo of the future completed it and gave it to me. A transport mechanism to time-space marked by a phenomena of relevance. You like it? 
just like yours. Actually, I think the other stuff may be different, but who cares, right? In any case, I can track and follow your machine. What about Margaret? Will you look at that? I'm forgetting the point of the whole thing. Can you drop by? I'll be waiting at the square. Bring homunculus. We have a few things to discuss. Oh, and by the way, do what I tell you, okay? Otherwise, someone you care about is going to die. I don't have to tell you what I mean about that, right? Later, then. Hugo! Hey! Hugo! Where are you? Lord, you're so noisy. I'm here, right here. one that's been trying to kill me. Never mind that. Where's Homunculus? You heard what I asked you. The Homunculus was completed because you showed up. You fooled Father into creating the Homunculus. Isn't that right? I read Father's research notes. They said you brought him the last ingredient, the Philosopher's Stone. Me? Get your father to create Homunculus? All I've been doing is trying to stay alive. But it isn't... What I really wanted was to get here earlier and stop what you were doing. But all my machine could do is follow yours. So I targeted yesterday's you because I thought I could manage to get to you before you did the things you did today. I had so many chances, but I still didn't manage to kill you off. Hugo. It's a shame, but there's no way for my machine to outrun yours. And I can't stop the homunculus from being completed. So I'm switching to another plan. If I can't prevent homunculus from being created in the first place, I'll destroy it. That seems to be the only way to get a hold of the Philosopher's Stone. Philosopher's Stone? What use is that to you? Hugo? I'm out for revenge, get it? Homunculus destroyed my family, and you're the one who had him created. H Hugo, I can't believe that's true. Ike just doesn't seem like someone who would do a thing like that. There must be some other reason Father just disappeared the way he did. Come on, Hugo. Let's give him a little more time. We'll wait together. Shut up. That's your problem, you know. Stop treating me like a kid whenever it suits you, all right? I, I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings, but... I know that Homunculus is made of the Philosopher's Stone. If we got hold of it, we could save Mother. Save? What do you mean by that? I can save her life. That's the reason I'm looking for that stone. This time, I'll succeed, and she'll be alive again. We'll all go home together and start over. You understand now? Come on, go get Homunculus. Bring her back? Hugo, what do you think you're doing? You want to raise the dead? The stone.
Stone let Father create homunculus. As long as I have the right materials, this should work too. Hugo, you didn't. Never mind. Just hurry up. You used that lock of Mother's hair? You've tried this before? Hurry up! Homunculus can't be... He always... Well, he just appears out of nowhere. It has nothing to do with what I want. Yes, he, he saved my life, but that's about it. It just isn't possible for me to call him up. You've got to understand. I'll give you 20 minutes. If you don't bring him to me in 20 minutes, I'm just going to disappear. Sorry, sis, but I'll have to leave you behind in this age. Hugo, what do you think you're doing? Don't worry. Even if I do end up doing that, nothing's going to happen to you. Leaving your ancestress in this time. You understand what that means, right? Go on, hurry up. as you can see. This body can get a little tiresome sometimes. It must be nice to have a human one. Could you come with me for a second? Hugo's looking for you, and I have a few things I need to ask you, too. Mm, Hugo, eh? Mm, which means you know who the killer is, I guess. Let me guess what Hugo's plan is. He's going to leave Margaret in the present and wipe you, a descendant, out that way. You knew about this? Since I was willing to give you time-traveling powers, you didn't expect me to just sit around, did you? I tested out a few histories. That particular outcome is just a variation on a theme, so it was fairly easy to guess. It's the sort of thing Hugo would think of. So I... Please, don't thank me. I just wanted to help. Switched kids. I found a baby just about the same age. <laughs> Is the Margaret you know blonde and blue-eyed? What, what are you saying? Switched babies? Isn't Margaret an ancestress of mine? Well, that's my theory. There's something uncanny about your involvement with that family, don't you think? 
It is, after all, the simplest explanation. Well, if she isn't a blonde, it means my plan worked. No matter what happens to Margaret, your existence is an assured fact. Don't worry. I'll switch things back to the way they were after all this is over. You switched Margaret with Mr. Eckert's daughter? So what, I? No big deal, I say. She was going to die alongside her mother, and I saved her life. It's harmless compared to Hugo trying to cancel your existence by stranding Margaret in the future, don't you think? Master Hugo's plans will fail, thanks to me. Oh, God! So that's what really happened when Mr. Eckert's daughter disappeared. Wait a second. Did you murder his wife, too? as if I'd risk myself in doing that. Do you have any idea how fragile my body is? I have to take good care of it so that it won't break. I'm really not very strong. Just now, I had to rest a little here, and the next thing I know, there are people all over the crime scene. So I couldn't complete the switch. But I did manage to bring the real Margaret to this time. Under the name Dana, of course. No need to worry. I don't believe the stunts you pull. These are people's lives, their fates that you're dealing with here. Hmm. You lost me there for a second, Ike. Sorry, but I'm not human, so I wouldn't know anything about that. You... But I do believe in the power of fate, you know. No matter how much you meddle, it always wants to go back to the way it was. It has a kind of homing instinct, if you catch my drift. That's why we're having so much trouble getting death du jour off your menu. I know what I said about not wanting to die. But you have to stop changing other people's destinies so casually. I mean, why do you have to go that far? Well... If you're that unhappy about it, Ike, would you like me to change it back? Of course, it has to be after she's turned 20, after she's taken hostage by Hugo. Otherwise, there's no point in switching them in the first place. You... Uh, 20 years isn't something you can just erase from memory and relive. Don't you understand how, how serious time is? Excuse me? Are you trying to lecture me, Ike? After all I've done for you? Humans are nothing but trouble. Really? Well, see you later then. Wait! Well, where do you think you're going? said something weird. Homing instinct? No way. Was that it? So Dana is my... And Margaret is Mr. Eckert's daughter? Can that be it?
Welcome. Uh... Yes? You're... who are you? Would you really like to know? If you really don't mind telling me. Could it be that you are here because you have some idea of what that answer will be? I met you once, long, long ago. I could not have imagined then that we would meet again under such circumstances. I'd listen to you go talking, of course, but how could I have believed these wild fantasies about time travel? That is, until I became what I was and saw you again. Yes, long ago, I was called Helena. I had a life of my own, and two children named Margaret and Hugo. But I was also very ill. When we first met, I couldn't even raise myself from the bed anymore. And soon afterwards, I died. All that was left of my existence was a lock of hair, as it should have been. But Hugo, my son Hugo, found the homunculus device that his father had been experimenting with. And he used my hair in the machine. What are you doing here? Father. I... I... Never mind. Just get out. Father! But, but you father... You are not to enter this room again. Hugo's act brought back my spirit alone to this world. Stripped of the protection of the body. And the disembodied spirit kept forever from rest. Has been wandering this earth through time and will for all eternity. Have you told him? Told Hugo about this? No. I have not told Hugo. He cannot see me, nor hear me. Why are you helping me? You are very special. You can hear my voice. The only people I can reach are those who have ended their stay in this world of the living and are on their way to the next. Oh, great. So I have one foot in the grave. Is that it? Perhaps. But you are trying to deflect your destiny away from immediate death. And the cause of your death rests with Hugo, my son. So I suppose I was hoping that fate could be swayed. Just like that creature is. I know how powerful fate is. 
But I still hoped, though of course, for a very different reason from the creatures. The creature? Homunculus. My husband did not create it. You know, its true nature is far from that. It's a kind of genie trapped in the Philosopher's Stone. All my husband did was free it. That can't be. What I've told you, I pieced together from what other souls told me in my wanderings. Ever since I became what I am now. Of course, not all of it may be true. I've kept you long enough, haven't I? You must go. Fate is something that belongs to you, and the only one who can change it is yourself. My work is near its end. There is only one thing, one thing I ask of you. Should you ever see Hugo again, tell him. Tell him you have done an unforgivable thing. But I forgive you, even if no one else can. Who's there? No need to be surprised. You are a nervous one, aren't you, Ike? What did you want with this ruin? 400 years ago, it was a laboratory. Now, it's just a mess. You didn't see anything? You know, in here? Mm -hmm. Oh, you saw the spirit. So, you can see it, can't you? I can see the living, and I can see the souls of the dead. But I can't see the thing that lives here. It gives me the creeps, really. I can sense something, but that's it. Hey, can you call up spirits? Excuse me? Well, for example, if Dr. Wagner could have a talk with Hugo right now, and Hugo understands what his father was really trying to do, well, maybe Hugo would change his mind about all this. What do you think? Well, well, I hadn't thought of that. Dr. Wagner, of course, nothing could be simpler. Really? Really. Wait a moment, and I'll fetch Dr. Wagner. Come over here. You better stand back, Ike. He's about ready.
feel. Dr. Wagner? Aren't you, uh, wasn't it you who brought me the Philosopher's Stone? That's right. I'm Ike. Doctor, I have a favor I need to ask you. I don't know how to say this, but... Well, your son, Hugo, is trying to kill me. He thinks that what happened to you and his whole family was Homunculus' fault. And that Homunculus would never have been created if I hadn't helped you. He told me this himself. He also said that he was going to use the Philosopher's Stone to bring his mother back to life. Good Lord. Where is Hugo right now? He's right over there. It's more than 400 years from your time. I... I, I must see him. I, I must speak with Hugo. He needs to know the truth. I see now that this is why you've brought me here. So you will speak to Hugo? Yes. It is my duty. Will you take me to him? Gladly. Did you bring him? Hugo! Who's there? Ike, please stay here. I will handle this. Of course. Be careful. Did you bring homunculus? Goodbye, Ike. Hugo. Father? Father? Father, you're alive. How did you get here? Hugo, what do you think you are doing? Did your mother and I give you life so that you could take another's? N no, that's not it. There's a reason. Then stop your attempts on Ike's life. Do you understand? If you do that, I will tell you all about my research. Okay. I understand. That's my boy. Come with me. Okay. Let us go. Where did you take them? I wouldn't know. Why not? Dr. Wagner. Oh, that wasn't Dr. Wagner, Ike. What? Wagner isn't dead yet. So I can't very well call up his spirit, can I? That was a fake. Get him. A puppet that does exactly what I tell it to do. Not bad, eh? Hugo certainly fell for it. Oh my god. you say? Well, looks like it's over, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Good job, Ike. I'm like, I was trying to change my destiny. Mm -hmm. And you did. All this was for you? You used me. To ensure you would exist, that no one would rewrite the script. Now, 
let's not have all this unpleasant talk about using. I mean, who cares, really? <laughs> yes. Yes, you managed to preserve my destiny. If you had been killed, I would never have been born. Immortality has its perks, but you have to be given life first. I see. So I was just being used. All your talk about an ancestor, was that just to get me to go back to that time? Well, how should I know? Oh, by the way, I need the digipad back. Here. It's yours. Oh. What? Well, why don't you take her back to her own time? Huh? Who? Me? Margaret, what do you want to do? Are you going back home or staying in this time? to stay in this time and make a life here. Are you sure? I mean... You know that... You know my father's not coming back, right? That's what I read in a book. So if we're to trust that... Then I won't go back. It's too lonely by myself. And besides... I feel good here. Like I belong. It's a strange thing to feel, but I think I should go with it. Here, you can have it back. I don't need it anymore. Yes, hand it over. Oh! decided his life would end this day. Soon afterwards, Margaret was adopted by the Eckerts. You could say that she finally came home. It's such a tall tree. Was it here before? No, I think this is where he... Hmm. Did the stone do this? Is the tree here because the Philosopher's Stone gave up its energy? Hey, what is this? What? <laughs> 